What is going on guys and welcome in for another video of myself of City and Gaming and for today's video we are playing the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now this is based on the iconic 1974 film The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The gameplay so far what I've seen, I've not actually played it yet myself, this is going to be a first time playthrough for it. But it looks very much so like Dead by Daylight. So if you like Dead by Daylight or Friday the 13th games, then this is possibly a game for you. But we do play the game though. Let's get into some of the characters and get familiar with them. So for the victims, we have got Connie, we have got Leyland, we have got Anna, Sonny, and Julie. Now for the family, these are all the killers who will be chasing after the victims is Leatherface, the iconic guy, Cook, Hitchhiker, Johnny, and Sissy. Let me know down in the comments as well, have you played this game before? If so, what was your experience on the game? Did you enjoy it? Did you find it a bit glitchy? Or was it not to your flavour? And also, who is your favourite victim or family member to actually play? For our first gameplay, we are going to run through as one of the victims. Been captured by the Slaughter family. Tied up, tortured, and left for dead. You must do whatever it takes to escape the family's property at all costs. Find your friends. Hunt for life-saving items like tools, bone scrap, and health. But more importantly, locate and open up escape routes before it's too late. The family is hunting, so move quietly and make the right decisions. Your life depends on it. Stay quiet and hidden. Move slowly and carefully to avoid making excessive noise. Use shadows and tall foliage to stay hidden. Take cover behind tall objects to break line of sight. And last but not least, use the environment to your advantage. Wall now, gaps, we both know that hiding in tall grass is not going to work in this game. hiding spots like freezers, armoires, and even vehicle trunks can be used to evade the family. Use them. Watch out for objects that make noise. Moving too fast through the environment can spell disaster. Searching for items slowly will drastically increase your chance of survival. Even moving too fast through doors can give away your location. So stay calm and move quietly. The family is always listening. Find useful items. Tools can be used to break locks on doors. Health items can heal you. While bone scrap can be used to sneak attack or even confront the family directly. These items can mean the difference between life and death. You can only carry two items at a time. So choose wisely and try to plan ahead. Unlock exits. The heavy metal doors almost always lead out of the basement. Find and open them. Once upstairs, keep moving if possible. There are multiple escape routes located on the outer edges of the property, so find a way to open them. Some escape objectives like the fuse box and water valve pump require specific items to activate them. These items can be found scattered around the property. Be on the lookout. Escape the family. Having trouble finding an escape option? When in doubt, head towards the main road or rear gate. Those are usually the easiest option, if you can get there. The water valve gate and the basement door exits are also available options if you can find the necessary parts to activate them. The How basement big is door this requires you to find and repair the fuse Seems box. to be a really big map compared to Dead by Daylight. The pressure valve handle to open. Once fixed, the escapes will open up for you and your team. Use your abilities to stay alive. Used at the right time, they can mean the difference between life and death. Be careful though. Star sign abilities have a cooldown that will prevent overuse. So plan wisely. Remember, you have been captured, beaten, and tortured. So your injuries are severe. You need to escape before you succumb to your wounds. As the match continues, you will start to bleed out more and more. Be wary of leaving blood trails behind. You can Ooh, okay. be tracked. Health items can slow this process, but you can't stop it. Escape is the only option. Finding fellow victims and working together is recommended, but not required. Grouping with teammates can have a multitude of advantages, but your total noise output might also increase. Choose your strategy wisely. I'm just gonna follow somebody. The only question <laughs> is, who will survive? And what 
will be left of them. All right, okay, let's get into this game, shall we? Well, that had taken four and a half minutes to actually get in. Now, the next match is in two and a half minutes. So, not a great start for it, is it, unfortunately? I know it's day one and everything is a little bit more busier. Not the quickest. I think they might need to sort the servers out just that little bit. And it is cross-play as well because there is a PC player in our squad. As well as voice chat, you can actually do a text chat as well. So, any pros here? That can carry a new. See what we'll get if anyone responds in the bottom left. Oh, they put back all level zero noob central. It's actually right there. Everybody is actually brand new to the game just then. I think it's going to be a bunch of noobs leading a bunch of noobs. <laughs> Dude, if you got a mic, can you hear me? What's going on? What are they doing to us? That door is latched. Latch. Yeah, I feel like that's a little bit of a trap. Wait, no, where are you can I use that? Yo, I don't know where I'm going here. Where are we going? Where are we going, buddy? I'm following you. Just keep your head clear. Open. That's another player, isn't it? <laughs> okay, health. I don't think I was really meant to be using that. Then. Right, a door latched. Right, that cave. Okay. So we locked door. What's this? Oh, I can hear the chainsaw. Dude, I can hear the chainsaw. <laughs> hey, the prize pocket. Oh no. Where's he gone? How do you run? Oh, where's my where's my dude gone? What the hell did we end up here? Oh no. I should keep this. Right, how do we run? Okay there. What's that? Avoid detection by Grandpa. Who's Grandpa? I'm scared. I don't want to move. I really don't want to move. Is this a way out? Oh my god, somebody's dead already. I don't know where I'm going. Victim. Have you brought somebody here with you? I can hear James. Oh, I don't want to go anywhere. I really don't want to go anywhere. It's just terrifying with headset on. It really is. God. So on this, so what the difference is as well between this and Dead by Daylight? There's three people trying to chase four victims. There's more people trying to get you. It's not just the one person you're escaping from. I 
Ay, madre de Dios. Please, protect us. Please. Oh, God. There they are. Yo, stay with me, buddy. I need to try and skate the basement. How did that other guy skate the basement? Right there, that's the victim as well. Come on, buddy, over here. Oh my god. Okay, so it's, if anybody comes, it's, it's one in three chance of me dying. It's a five for five minutes. I'm going not this to make it a little bit more interesting. <laughs> I won't make it a little bit more interesting. Where's that other person gone? Oh God. To find my friends. Yeah, you go up there first, man. <laughs> I know. I don't want to go up. My heart is beating so fast. There was a killer then. Oh my god, there's one of them just around here. Oh my god. They're there. Oh my god. Oh. My word. There's two killers just there. God. You can do this. Think. I don't know where I'm going. I don't really want to go anywhere because the killers are just there. Oh my god, oh my god. It's terrifying. This is terrifying. Wait for the pot look. Is that one there getting through the bushes as well? Slowly. How visible am I? I'm having a guess it's not very visible if I can't really see them there. Oh my god. 
the other one right is still that over there i think that's one of us right psycho with a chainsaw is over there Stay, stay in the least. Oh my god. What is that? What is he doing? The waking grandpa up? Right, chainsaw dude is over there. Hide in this bush? No. Don't go that way, bud. Right, okay, let's get this done. Fucking hide? Cool. Are they getting killed over there? That looks like there's a generator over there, doesn't it? Oh my god. What do I do? Oh, look at this. I want to make it interesting. <laughs> I want to make it interesting. Okay, they didn't actually see it, did they? <laughs> Come on, over it! They're not paying attention, are they? <laughs> right. Now... Yeah, I think they've gone AFK some for these people. I think they have. Right, okay, I think it might be a look here. My help. Ah! Running for it. Oh, it's in the inside.
Right, they're definitely still alive then, aren't they? Because they just executed somebody. Where am I going to get an unlock tool though? Where's everybody gone? Right, where's that one person? That looks like the killers are actually disconnected. Oh god. <laughs> it's not a great start for the for the game, is it so far? People are just getting a little bit bored and fed up. I don't think the guy's playing. I don't need to be too quiet. Yes, yes, yes. Please fit in that lock. Please. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, here we go. We've got a tool to do it. Unless that guy comes back from being AFK, we should be all right. The fuse. Here. Oh, God, what have we got to do here? So, that. There. That was 12 amps. Yeah, okay, I'm with you. That's 10, and it needs to be 11 on that one. Step closer. Where's this going? Hopefully it's in the basement. Where's the tunnel exit though? That's the work we need to try and find. Is that the exit? Oh, we've done it! Hey! Winning! I do believe I've just seen the killer running around in the distance. So there was somebody walking around trying to find him. It was just a chainsaw guy who was AFK. It's got to be so frustrating though being the last survivor left. Because you're trying to find where the other two have escaped. So, so far one's been executed. One's escaped up through the garage. Through like the main field bit. I've escaped through the basement. And this person is just finding loads of locked doors unfortunately. Come on you can do it buddy. Oh, they've got one of the killers just on the other side of that bookshelf. They don't know how close they were for being killed. Oh, they've been spotted. Run right past, they got lucky there. Very, very lucky. Got a bit cray cray because we've won. Every single one got out except for one of them actually actually died. <laughs> you square mish, look away.
<laughs> Looks a bit um, schizophrenia there. Right, what are the buttons then? What we've got to do? So we press up. I can see a few outlines of people. I think they're our team. Uh, we've got right bumper. Don't you worry about that. Left bumper runs. <laughs> and right trigger gives a slash. So I can't actually crouch. And this is a different map from what we was playing previously as well. So I'm not too sure which part of the map they'll be coming up from. If they do come up, that is. I'm gonna leave that locked. Don't want to help the victims, do we? How the hell did those kids find us? Should be more careful. Ooh, can I step on that? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, no, I can't step on that. I found the crazy hitchhiker, dude. Grandpa's been awakened. I want to see if this guy does the same. No, okay. I was hoping he'll follow me. Get him to set up on that cattle grid. What is that he's using? I've got really heavy stampy feet having it when I run. Okay, is that one of the victims who have done that? Let's leave that closed. Hey, little piggy. Hey, little piggy. Let me in. Little pig. Oh, there's nobody there. Where are they? Okay, so I can't go down at well, but they can. They hear a noise. Ah! <laughs> Come here, buddy! <laughs> oh, I'm stabbing his gun. Oh, no, don't run me! Oh my god, this is so frustrating because I can't catch them. <laughs> Go back. I thought I could hear something. It's a good thing about playing with headphones on this game. Oh my god, the both here. Which one do we go for? Right, okay, I'm going to go for her now because I've attacked him quite a few times. This is actually quite fun as the killer, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Okay, that's two that are injured now. Just injuring them a little bit. Hey! Bloody. Oh! I've knocked them down. They survived though, they survived. Right, where did that guy go? Did one. Let's lock the gate. Oh, have they found somebody? Go ahead and hide. It ain't gonna matter. I see footsteps with this. Oh wait. Investigate. That's quite cool. I can taste the footsteps. Oh yes. Just running around in circles here, aren't they? Oh, get your body! Kill back! I'll go around anyway. Oh, we got him! Oh, that's quite brutal, actually. Execution, welcome to the family. 
Hey, is that two water down? Just need to find the other two. Honestly, if you play this game as a killer, wearing a headset, a good headset, makes a difference. I don't know how many is left though. Hit speed, Grandpa. Yeah, Grandpa, drink some blood. Now, what does that do? Grandpa's not hungry. No, no, no. Not picking anybody up, is it? Grandpa's hungry again? Listen, Grandpa, I've just fed you some vile blood. What else do you want? Okay, where are you? Where are you, victims? Let's feed them up again. Since we played the victim on the last game, I feel like somebody could be watching us in these bushes and we wouldn't even know. Turns out we are playing the same map as well, isn't there? Time to play. Did we pick any footsteps up around here? Has somebody set that off or was it the other guy? Him probably isn't it? I reckon it was. <laughs> that guy fell for the same bit I did. Okay, where are they? I've got a feeling they're watching us. I can feel my controller vibrating. I don't know if that's a sign of getting closer. Getting strong rumble in the controller. Are they below me, do you think? Be a possibility. Close the gate behind us again and give it a lock just in case they come and run. They're stuck. Oh, damn it, Johnny. What is this? Come on now. Found footsteps. Where did you go? Investigate, right. I've gone this way recently. I need to wait for my power to charge up, really. Are they here? I think I've seen somebody go across that window in the back. Lost the scent of the footsteps. Not quite yet. Where are you? Wait. That turn off that gate there though. I think it might. But I don't want to turn that off, do we?
No footsteps over this way. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. We answer something. Okay, Johnny is really OP. What a great ability that is. Oh my god, there's somebody there! He was there all the time, what the hell? Great lover! Johnny for the win! One more last slice, yes! I did not even see that guy tucked away in the corner by the gate. One more. Achievement hype! All right. Johnny for the win. Where's the last one going to be? Getting sensors up, see if we can find any footsteps. Come across a ladder to the basement. I wonder if they're down here. I've got to say though, playing as a killer is actually more fun than a hiding. At first, being a victim was pretty scary. Suppose if you keep playing it more and more, it will get less, less scary. But for the killer, it's just pure fun, just trying to hunt down people. Not probably hiding and panicking from you. Oh, we've got a victim that escapes from the family. Three out of four isn't bad though, is it? Not bad going. Three out of four the killers. I was the actual one who, who only killed. <laughs> uh, one died by bleeding out. And then two were killed by myself on escapes. I'm going to leave it there for the video. So let me know down in the comments what's your thoughts on this game. If you did enjoy the game and you want to see more of this, maybe put it in on stream. Let me know down in the comments as well, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.